Sometimes there is something called other storage. Sometimes it's called system data that is taking up space and sometimes a lot of space on your iPhone. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you exactly how to delete other storage on your iPhone. So first, let's go to the settings app of our phone here and then scroll down to get to the general section and get to iPhone storage from here. And right on top, I just deleted other storage and there's some system data that is left over. You could actually clear that up. But first, let's go to the very bottom of this page because you will either see system data here or something called other storage here. You could click on it and Apple will tell you exactly what that is. System data, right? Other system data, which is your other storage, includes cache files, logs, and resources currently used by the system. And this value will change depending on what you're doing. And if everything goes correctly, it's actually not supposed to take up any space. It's supposed to use the data as it needs it, and then it actually is supposed to purge it by itself. So if it's taking up any storage on your phone, there is something wrong, and you could actually use a couple of different techniques I'm gonna show in this video to delete other storage on your iPhone. Now, let me show you the first thing that may just solve your problem right away. And I've done it to my primary iPhone here and my other system data or my other storage here shows zero used. So what you wanna do is you wanna offload unused data. Now, this only kicks in as you get to the very limit of your iPhone. But if you enable this from here, it will do exactly that. And a lot of the cache files and the log files are inside of unused apps. So this will actually do a good job to clear that up. Now, the next thing you wanna do is go to the settings app one more time. And this time there is a folder here inside of Safari. So if you find Safari right here, that actually takes up a lot of space in the other storage part of the iPhone. So you'll have to press clear history and website data. And that website data is again, what's being kept under that section of your phone. Go ahead and delete that and that should delete other storage on your iPhone. Now, sometimes it's inside of different apps. So you could go through your apps here and look at the ones that are basically taking up the most storage. So in this case, TikTok is using almost five gigabytes and some other apps here that I could look through. And then you go to that app, so I'll go to TikTok. And then inside of each app, there's typically under the settings and privacy, there's an option here to clear cache. So this 300 megabytes of cache is what's taking up some space right this second in my other storage. So you could actually click here to clear up the cache. Sometimes it gets stored inside of that app, but sometimes in the other storage section of your iPhone. Now, other times there is this iOS update. So in this case, I'm part of the beta version of iOS, but it will download the iOS, take up space in my system storage or other storage, so I could actually click and delete it from here as well. So this alone right here will save me five gigabytes of storage right from here. And there are going to be other apps like Instagram that are gonna have their own cache files. YouTube may have their own cache files. If you have iMovie and you never use iMovie, I recommend you just delete this app entirely. So you could delete the app. Or if you just wanna keep your data, you could still reduce size by offloading data. A lot of times apps like this will locally store to the other storage on your iPhone and you could delete it from these places. Now, if none of that took care of the problem for you and you still have other storage taking up space on your iPhone, the last thing you wanna do is you wanna reset your phone to factory settings. Now that will delete everything. So you have to back everything up to iCloud, for example, so you could then revert back to the factory setting with all the things you already have on your phone but that will solve your problem. I will link a different video below on how to reset your phone to factory original and then get the backup from iCloud. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.